morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. We are on the third day of our novena in honor, second day of our novena in honor of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Please stand. Please kneel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord our God, I come before you once more to offer to you my prayers. I have made my pleas to you again and again, and each moment I do, the more my faith increases, that you are truly the God of life and of love. However, there have been a number of times I also that I failed to call on you, that I failed to love my neighbors, that I failed to keep my promises, that I failed to ask for pardon and to give pardon to others, that I failed to give thanks for all the blessings that come my way. And yet, in all these moments, you are ever present, O Lord, to remind me that you are just around to take me back once more if I will but come to you. By meditating on the mysteries of the Holy Rosary, especially in this novena, in honor of the Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, may I be led to find your presence in my life as a Mother Mary found it in her own life. In every mystery of my joy, in every mystery of my sorrow, in every mystery of my glory, may I be able to recognize your hand that I may know you are indeed the Emmanuel, the God who is with us now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. You among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The five joyful mysteries. The first mystery, the Annunciation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. joyful mystery the birth of Jesus our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. joyful mystery, 
the presentation of the child Jesus at the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus at the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Litany in honor of Mary, our mother. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God the Father in heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, Pray for us. Mother of divine grace. Pray for us. Mother of hope. Pray for us. Mother most pure. Pray for us. Mother most chaste. Pray for us. Mother inviolate. Pray for us. Mother undefiled. Pray for us. Mother most amiable. Pray for us. Mother most admirable. Pray for us. Mother of good counsel. Pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Savior, pray for us. Virgin most prudent, pray for us. Virgin most venerable, pray for us. Virgin most renowned, pray for us. Virgin most powerful, pray for us. Virgin most merciful, pray for us. Virgin most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of justice. Pray for us. Seat of wisdom. Pray for us. Cause of our joy. Pray for us. Spiritual vessel. Pray for us. Vessel of honor. Pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion. Pray for us. Mystical rose. Pray for us. Tower of David. Pray for us. Tower of ivory. Pray for us. House of gold. Pray for us. Ark of the covenant. Pray for us. Gate of heaven, pray for us. Morning star, pray for us. Health of the sick, pray for us. Refuge of sinners, pray for us. Solace of migrants, pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of angels, pray for us. Queen of patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of prophets, pray for us. Queen of apostles, pray for us. Queen of martyrs, pray for us. Queen of confessors, pray for us. Queen of virgins, pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the holy rosary. Pray for us. Queen of the families. Pray for us. Queen of peace. Pray for us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech you, that through meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Extend, O Lord, to your servants your heavenly aid that we may seek you with all our hearts and obtain what we ask. Hear, O Lord, our prayers and grant to our deceased associates the rest of heaven and to your church peace through the intercession of the glorious Virgin Mary and the merits of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garments. Let us pray. Almighty God, at the beginning of our salvation, when Mary conceived your son, and brought him forth into the world, you placed him under Joseph's watchful care. May his prayers still help your church to be an equally faithful guardian of your mysteries and a sign of Christ to mankind. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Act of Contrition May the Lord Jesus Christ, true God and true man, my Father and Redeemer, I kneel in the presence of your divine majesty, overcome with grief for having offended you, my God, so deserving of all my love. I believe in you, I trust you, and trusting in your infinite mercy, I hope to have my sins forgiven. With the help of your divine grace, I resolve to confess my sins and to start my life anew. Chastise me in this life, O Lord, but spare me in eternity. Help me make my life a worthy oblation to atone for all my sins and the sins of all men. During this novena to Mary, your mother, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, help me to know you better, to love you more fervently, to serve you with more dedication. Grant me the grace to live and persevere in your service until that Amen. Prayer for every day of Novena. O most clement Virgin, O tenderest Mother, O sweetest Mary, comforter of afflicted and refuge of sinners, Midratrix between God and men. You are Noah's Ark, our salvation in the deluge of sin. You are the rainbow of peace, our reconciliation with God. You are the dove that brings us the olive branch of peace. As a token of your maternal love, you gave to the Catholic world, through your son Dominic, the most holy rosary. Through this devotion, pagans were converted, heretics brought back to the true fold, enemies of the church vanquished, and Christian society reformed. Queen of the most holy rosary, we call on you for assistance. You alone did overcome all the heresies in the world. Deliver now your Christian people from the snares of the devil. Great was your love for this nation, for when the enemies of the Catholic religion threatened to take away your faith, you saved us miraculously through your intercession and thus secured for yourself the title of Queen of the Mother of the Philippines. Look down with mercy on those who are deceived by the evil one, that they may renounce their heresy and return to the unity of the Catholic truth. Illumine our rulers, that under your guidance, they may govern this land as worthy representatives of God. Inspire us all to study religion, to fulfill the commandments, and to receive the sacraments, which are the essentials of true Christian life. As we became Christians through your intercession, we also hope to live as such under your protection, with your rosary as our anchor. We hope to reach that heavenly kingdom where all eternity we can have you as our queen and Christ our king. Amen. 
special prayer for the second day of Novena. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Mother of the Philippines. You visited your cousin Elizabeth and made her happy by your presence and service. Your dignity did not make you proud. You did not use your greatness to overwhelm the lowly, but rather to make them happy. In this joyful mystery of the visitation, you carried the Savior in your room and brought him to the hills of Judea, where he began his redemptive work with the sanctification of John the Baptist and his mother, Elizabeth. Help me to live with your spirit of service. Make me an instrument of God's peace, to sow love and pardon, where hatred and injury reign, to bring faith, hope, and joy to those in doubt and despair. Help me not to seek to be consoled, but to console, and not to be understood, but to understand. Help me spread the fragrance of God's kindness and mercy, so that the love and the peace of your Son, Jesus, may reign in the hearts of all men. Let us now ask a particular favor we wish to obtain in this novena through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Final prayer for every day. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Refuge of human race, we humbly prostrate ourselves before your throne, confident that we shall receive mercy, grace, assistance, and protection, not through our own inadequate merits, but solely through the great goodness of your maternal heart. May the sight of the widespread material and moral destruction, the sufferings and sorrows of countless human beings, move you to compassion. O Mother Mercy, obtain peace for us from God and procure for us those graces which prepare, establish, and assure that peace Queen of Peace, pray for us, and give to the world and to the Philippines the peace for which we are all longing, the peace in the truth, justice, and charity of Christ. Lastly, O Queen of Heaven, as the Church and the entire human race are consecrated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, so that in reposing all hope in Him, He might become for them the pledge of victory and salvation, so in like manner, consecrate ourselves to You, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, You who have chosen to raise Your throne of mercy in Manawa, to be the beloved protectress and patroness of the province of Pangasinan, and from there to bestow Your grace and graces on us, your children, banished in this valley of tears. Look down with your eyes of mercy upon us, who are beset with so many dangers of body and soul. Despise not our petition, our dearest mother, but intercede for us before your divine Son, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Please stand.
Please be seated for a while. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, to make ourselves worthy of this celebration, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you. 
Let us pray. All Holy Father, in the wonder of your, wis of, the wis of your wisdom and love, you decreed that your Son should be born of a woman and subject to her guidance. Grant that we may enter more and more into the mystery of your incarnate Word and with Him lead a hidden life on earth until, escorted by His Virgin Mother, we may joyously enter your home in heaven through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the letter of Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as proof that you are children. God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but a child. And if a child then, also an heir, true God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
my heart is not proud, nor my eyes haughty. I do not busy myself with great matters, with things too sublime for me. Brother, I have stilled my soul, hushed it like a weaned child, like a weaned child on its mother's lap, so is my soul within me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Israel, hope in the Lord, now and forever. Virgin Mother of God, He whom the world cannot contain, enclosed Himself as a child within your womb.
preachings, preaching activities, he claimed to be the way. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Ako ang daan. Kung ikaw ang daan, ikaw ang katotohanan, paano ka ba naman mawawala? In contrast, ang nawawala ay yung hindi nakakahanap ng daan. Pag tayo pupunta sa isang lugar, di ba? pag hindi familiar sa atin yung ating pupuntahan, kuminsan, meron tayong mga dinadaanan na lihis sa ating pupuntahan. Kaya, yung ating journey ay humahaba or napapahaba because kumukuha at our kuminsan dinadaanan natin yung mga daan na lihi sa ating patutunguhan and so upon realizing sometimes we had to turn back kung kaya masasabi nating tayo ay nawawala dahil hindi natin natagpuan yung daan or dahil wala tayo sa tamang daan And so Jesus could not have been lost because Jesus himself was the way. Kung hindi nawala si Jesus, so sino yung nawawala? Dahil siya ay daan, eh sino nawawala? Yung hindi nakakahanap ng daan. Yung hindi nakakahanap kay Jesus. Yun yung tunay na nawawala. In our gospel reading, virgin, the virgin mother and Her husband, Joseph, thought of Jesus was with them in the caravan going back to their home place. So ano po ba mga reason kung bakit nila naiwan si Jesus? We can always reflect from the event itself. And this, and the elements of the gospel reading for today we can use as points of our reflection. Unang punto, masabi natin, bakit nakalimutan ni Virgin Mother and ni uh, St. Joseph na wala sa kanila si Jesus is because they were with their family, with their relatives. And so thinking na has si Jesus o ang ating Panginoong si Jesus ay kasama ng mga family members and relatives. But, wala doon ang di nila alam, wala doon si Jesus. Tayo mga Pilipino, and we share this actually with our Asian neighbors, ay malaki yung binibigay na importansya sa family. We call, that, we call it, at least in Filipino, in our Filipino culture, the strong family ties. Malaki yung ating importansya or value na binibigay sa ating family. And sometimes we work for our family. And not sometimes, actually that's... Oftentimes we work for our family. Ito ay isang magandang value. But it also could become a source of tension. Paano? Kung kahit naman, kahit hindi na maganda, or kahit hindi na naayon sa tamang pag-iisip, or sa moral code, or even sa legal mga laws of the land ay pinapaboran pa, na, pa rin natin ang ating pamilya. In that regard, nawawala tayo kay Jesus. Napupunta tayo sa ating pamilya. So other than uh, instead of following Jesus's will, Jesus's way, we follow the will of our family. Kaya nga meron tayo mga isyong nepotism or even yung mga corruption sa ating society, sa ating society 
it's always motivated by making those who committed uh, corruption, making their family better, at least materially, so that they could provide for their family. Even yung mga criminals na nakikita natin sa, di ba, pag nanonood ka ng TV, ng news, pag may nahuling criminal, ano always na sagot nila, nagawa ko lang po ito dahil sa aking pamilya. Ayokong gusto ko makabigay or makapag-provide for my family. And so, the strong bond that we have with our family is a good value. But sometimes it is a cause of tension. Parang ganun yung nangyari sa gospel. The virgin mother and Saint Joseph were lost. They were the ones who were lost, not Jesus. Because they followed or they assumed and preferred to be with their family and relatives rather than Jesus who was left in, in, the, in Jerusalem at the temple still engaging with the scribes and Pharisees preaching the message of God to the people there in Jerusalem. And so that's one reason why sometimes we are lost because of ex excessive uh, favor that we give or that we show our family, sometimes to the point of sacrificing our moral values. Ang pangalawang rason na maiisip natin kung bakit nakalimutan ni Virgin Mary and ni Saint Joseph si Jesus ay dahil dahil hindi lang kasama nila yung pamilya kundi kasama din nila yung kanilang community. And so kung iisipin natin maybe before leaving the community decided na at this particular moment we should go and live. And so there was a consensus for them to live and go home in a caravan, carpool, sabihin natin ngayon, isipin natin. So there was a consensus, but Jesus was again left, was left out. He was in Jerusalem. And so sometimes, pwede natin sabihin in relation to this, na sometimes we are lost when we follow kuminsan yung uh, kagustuhan ng karamihan. Which is not necessarily yun ang kagustuhan ng Panginoon. The rule of the majority is not necessarily the rule of God or the will of God. Kaya kung minsan, we sacrifice some of our values because ayaw nating mapahiya or doon sa ibang tao, sa karamihan ng mga tao. Uh, because again, in our culture, is strong yung sense of hiya. Ayaw nating mapahiya. And so, we take care in a way or we protect that yung reputation we want other people or we want to look pleasing in the eyes to be pleasing in the eyes of other people but there's only one thing that we should aspire for not to be pleasing in the eyes of people but rather to be pleasing in the eyes of God that's the only rule, and everything will follow. The third point, or the third reason that we can get, or that we can draw out from the event, from the gospel event, na could have could be a reason again why nawawala tayo or nalilis tayo ng landa sa ating panginoon is because. Yung car uh, well, 
when we speak of a caravan, we speak of sort of merong commercial side. May caravan dahil nagbenta, and then afterwards, caravan pabalik. So one of the reasons for the caravan ay commercial. And so we can ascribe to it material things. And so isa sa mga rason kung ba tayo nalilihis sa landas ng Panginoon, ba tayo nawawala sa landas ng Panginoon because of material things. Kasi we want our life to be convenient. Sino ba naman ang ayaw ng convenient na buhay? Lahat tayo ay gusto convenient ang ating buhay. Kaya, again, sometimes we sacrifice some of our values because we want a comfortable life. Kaya kuminsan nagiging whitewash ang ating pananampalataya. Because oftentimes, we only follow the will of God if it is convenient for us. But if it, be, if, if, it, if it becomes inconvenient for us, when following God becomes a dis, uh, brings us discomfort, challenges our lifestyle, then what do we do? We simply ignore. So nabig, nagiging selective tayo in our faith. But you know, when we follow Christ, when only it is convenient for us, and then decide not to follow the teaching of God when it is inconvenient, then it is not God whom we are following, but ourselves. Yung gusto lang natin. Kaya tayo nawawala sa ating uh, o nawawala sa ating pagsunod sa ating Panginoon. And so three reasons that we can draw out from the gospel why we sometimes are lost. Why sometimes we distance ourselves from God, from Jesus. Because of those tendencies. Ang ating mahal na Birhing Maria ay nagbibigay yung buhay ng ating mahal na Biring Maria, ay nagbibigay sa atin ang aral to counter those tendencies para tayo ay talagang mapunta or mahanap ang ating Panginoon. So that will not end up in simply getting lost in our way, but rather so that we'll be able to find our way towards Jesus going back to Jesus. Ang ating Birhin na Maria ay concerned din sa kanyang pamilya. Pero, yung concern sa kanyang pamilya ay kanyang sinasubject or pinapasaloob sa kanyang pagsunod or pagsunod at pagtiwala sa ating Panginoon. Makikita natin to sa Yung again, another mystery in our gospel, in our, uh, in the rosary, yung tinatawag natin visitation. The virgin mother was told that her cousin, who was advanced in age, cousin Elizabeth was also pregnant. And so he ha and so she had to go there to help her cousin sa kanyang pregnancy. But that was yung pagtalima ng ating mahal na Maria. That was in response to God's will. It was revealed to him or to her by God. And so upon learning upon upon learning about the condition of the virgin mother or or rather of her cousin Elizabeth, the virgin mother went to her cousin to help her cousin in her pregnancy. And so, hindi masama again, it's a good value to have a strong bond with our family. But that should be, again, guided by our faith, by the will of God. Second, 
ang ating mahal na birhen ay hindi niya masyadi siya masyado nagpapaapekto sa sasabihin ng ibang tao sa opinion ng ibang tao kasi isang opinion lang ang nagmamatter sa ating mahal na birhen ang opinion ng Diyos kasi if the virgin mother was uh, concerned about what other people uh, about the opinion of other people then the virgin mother would not have said yes to the annunciation made on her by the angel Gabriel the message of God announced to her by the by the angel to become the mother of God. Kasi isipin naman man, wala siyang asawa. Tapos, she would be found pregnant. Eh pag ganun, according to their culture at that time, ay hindi ito isang magandang imahin ng isang babae because In fact, may endanger pa yung buhay ng babae because there was a possibility then for the uh, for the woman to be stoned to death as a punishment kung ikaw ay nagka uh, kung ikaw ay nabuntis na walang asawa. But that did not deter the virgin mother. Instead, even if it is difficult, she wholeheartedly shed, said yes. Because there's only one that matters for the virgin mother. Not the opinion of other people, but the opinion of God. What is the will of God for him, or rather, for her? Thirdly, in response to the third, ten, to the, to the third reason, yung convenience, na kuminsan nagmo-motivate sa atin to forget our faith we should look at the example of, of again of our virgin mother our virgin mother kahit nahirapan kahit mahirap still she opted to say yes to follow God's will to make the will of God her own will And not only that, hindi lang sinabi niyang yes, kahit mahirap, kundi kahit sa paghihirap, kahit sa paghihirap sa pagsunod ng kagustuhan ng Panginoon, she still managed to do it, not just wholeheartedly, but joyfully. That's why she was able to To glorify the Lord, the Magnificat that we were that we are singing until now, it was a product of the joyful attitude, the joyful decision, or disposition of the Virgin Mother. Notwithstanding the difficulty, notwithstanding the danger, because it was important for her. To follow God's will, still, wholeheartedly, she said yes. And so the Virgin Mother gives us, or the life of the Virgin Mother, gives us the example not how not to get lost. Because ultimately, for our Virgin Mother, the important thing is to follow God's will. In the wedding at Cana, that was the instruction given by the Virgin Mother to the waiter, and not just to the waiter, but to all of us. What did she say? The Virgin Mother said, Do what He, referring to Jesus, do what He tells you. Do what He tells you. Follow what the will of God is for you.
pupunta tayo dito sa Manawag, nagdadasal tayo sa ating mahal na Birhen. Sa ating pagdadasal, ang ninanais ng ating pang ng mahal na Birhen ay ma-discover natin kung ano yung will ng ating Panginoon para sa atin. Because in praying, or prayer is not an act of imposing our own will on God, telling God to do, to do our own will, to follow what we want. But rather, prayer is seeking God's will and following on the will of God discovered in prayer. So all our intercessions, all the things that we ask of God, through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, should always be subjected to God's will, whether it will be in accord with God's will, whether it is okay for us not to have it or not. Because that is what we should seek in prayer. We can glean upon it or that teaching in the prayer that Jesus himself taught us, the Our Father. In the Our Father, Jesus taught us to seek God's will. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Thy kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So, important, the very first item after glorifying God, is seeking the will of God. Only after seeking the will of God that the intercession, the needs of the people are listed in the Our Father. Thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Only after that, give us this day our daily bread. And so that should be our disposition. That should be our attitude in our prayer. To seek God's will and to act on it. And that is the example and the teaching that the Virgin Mother is giving us and is telling us to do. Please rise. Let us glorify our Savior who chose the Virgin Mary for his mother. Let us ask him for every petition, our response, May your mother intercede for us, Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You made Mary full of grace. Grant to all men and women who have been called to serve your people the joyful abundance of your grace that they may become living witnesses of your love in their vocation of wholehearted service, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You thought Mary to seek the glory of God above all else. Grant that our government leaders may through their sincere desire for the greater glory of God lead the people towards the real and integral progress of society and humanity. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Mary received God's word with an open heart. May we free ourselves from useless anxieties and learn to entrust our life under God's loving protection, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You crown Mary, Queen of Heaven. May all the members of our community who have died rejoice in your kingdom with your saints forever, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For all of us gathered here, may the example of our Blessed Mother continually inspire and guide us in our obligation to protect lives, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For our personal intentions and for the intentions of the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we pray. O 
All-powerful God, we rejoice in the protection of the Holy Virgin Mary. May her prayers help us, help to free us from all evils here on earth and lead us to eternal joy in heaven. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, we offer you these offerings of conciliation and praise, humbly asking that following the example of the Virgin of Nazareth, we may present our very selves as a holy sacrifice pleasing to you through Christ our Lord amen the Lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and eternal God for at Nazareth she receives with faith the message of Gabriel, and becomes the mother of your son, begotten by you before the ages, now born into this world of time as our Savior and our brother. At Nazareth, too, in loving communion with her son, she watches over the growing church in the person of her child and hands on to us the shining example of her life. In the house of Nazareth, as the first disciple of her son, she receives the message of the gospel and treasures it in her heart 
and reflects on it in her mind. Now with angels and archangels and the whole company of heaven, we sing the unending hymn of your praise. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and the Glorious Martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Isnil. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. Let us pray. Lord God, look with kindness on those you have strengthened with the sacrament from heaven, so that through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may work silently at building up your kingdom on earth, and so enjoy its fulfillment in heaven, in the company of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the words of thanks. The Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag would like to thank our celebrant, Reverend Father Janelle Abogado Opi, the co-celebrant, Reverend Father Jesse Yap Opi, for presiding over our Novena Mass. We would also like to thank all the participants, the Our Lady of Manawag Innovative School Choir, and most especially, our dear devotees and the sponsors of this Holy Mass. May the intercession of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, bring us closer to her Son, Jesus Christ. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. May God, through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in His great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with His blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her, through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you, who have devoutly gathered on this day, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer, prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to honor and glory of the, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.